But um, now we have weapons versus chair. <laughs> this man is not <laughs> getting a break. <laughs> I just. And on the one hand, it's unfortunate. On the other hand, it's I'm coming in. I know what I'm doing. I got this. Oh, what a set, dude. What a set. Now we gotta pull H-Box from wherever he is. He's right the there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. He has been very, very uh, good at coming to these bracket sets. Sick. All right, they give the fist bump. I think we're just jumping right into Ready? it. Game one, going to Dreamland. All right, game one of Grand Finals. <laughs> and he just starts off with a big rest. You know, true. <laughs> Able to get a back air at least for some percent. Weapons definitely going to be fighting from behind, starting from the start. And he's Oh, yep, Wispy. God. And an unfortunate fastball as well. Went a little too low on the stage. Oh, yep, yeah, shield fuck a little bit. A plus more smash in neutral. Only gets down the stage. Yeah, this is just gonna be the rough thing for weapons on this game. It's just none of your moves are gonna go. Hey, yeah. that one, that one was... yeah, I really like that placement of forward there. I think he was DIing for like down throw there, but instead just set him on the left. Now in his set with Komodo and loser side, we were seeing a lot of those charges uh, shots really punishing attempts to move around on the ground. I'm wondering to see if maybe we'll see that in the air as well from him. But that up B getting stumped by the grab on his leg. And Weapon's already on his last stock in this first game. I don't know, a big like, design factor of this matchup is that Hungry Box is also just like crowd canceling a lot more. So a lot of like common starters that Weapon's goes for is just not really gonna work. And also low profile. Like. Yeah. Back on safe, why not? Too early to throw him off. There it is. And oh, actually nice. the Wispy as well. So this was a... That could have been a really good... Um, gift to uh, yeah. Oh, the catch there. Those charge shots. Two for two right now on stock taking in the set. Yeah. <laughs> that's way too low percent. Weapons was trying to react to like a 10k scenario, but that's so early. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> yep, yep, he was just trying to look up. It looked like he was almost looking for rest there, but Weapon just wasn't fighting. That going a little too far, and he goes, you know what, I missed the short shot, I'm done here. Uh, meet me back in game two. Survival! Right back, okay? Ready? I don't know, man. You know, I think he's feeling pretty confident in those charge shots. I think if as long as he stays pretty consistent with those, he'll be perfectly fine on this day. Oh yeah, they're great for sure. But I think it's also like resetting neutral, just knowing when you have to back off. Because when Hungry Box is in your face like that, he is completely like like scrap. Yeah. So maybe just play a little bit more zone, you know? We are getting word from Romeo that Hbox recently lost to uh, Morse code to Samus in a test play uh, tournament. So we're going to see here how it's going. Right now, taking that first game very convincingly, so it's looking strong so far. But Weapon's holding onto the stock just fine, trying to do what he can to take that stock, but now he's just trying to live. That's interesting to see how, like, the uh, Because he, like, Hbox is a lot more comfortable in that, like, Magnifying glass, and he just goes out there where you're gonna be. Yeah, because there's like typical drift wins. When Komodo was fighting against Webbins, um, I definitely he was definitely having a lot of hard time edge guarding, but he was mostly doing it super close to the stage. So when he was hitting him with moves, they were popping him not too far away, or they were popping him into the stage, and setting up his own thing. He, he tried to do I think it. he expected a forward edge. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that makes sense. Yeah, Weapons does have a bit of pub experience, but both players, even at these stocks apiece, and Weapons is slowly showing that experience right now, getting a lot of that damage. 
Those pop-ups doing damage, but not quite secure in the stock just yet. That blast zone is very high. Still hits it up there, regardless. There we go. Not deep enough. Weapon's able to make it back with those drills. <laughs> Tries to wait out for that f -man. I think he has one shot left, but the charge shot hit him. He called him out for just continuing to hold right. It's tough because, I mean, Puzz fastball is so horrible, so it's like really hard to fix up. Oh, they're still not gonna kill. And now the counter pick is coming to play, though, so I definitely like to see it. Spikes in the back here. Yeah, I, I think I definitely see like weapons excelling a lot. I think it's mainly you just have to like adjust to one plus he's playing against, you know? Yeah. Oh, that, oh definitely think that was a, I think that was an error though. I mean you could be expecting maybe. the jump, but I think he may up have tilt, maybe up tilt. Maybe. Charge shot back. I guess that is one nice thing. It's gonna take off a second to get back to this. So you get a nice charge shot ready. Meaty F smash taking that stock, but now he's got it on deck, ready for whatever he wants to use that next charge shot, be it to get damage or get that next stock. Oh, oh okay. he's ready. Either way, this is great. Oh, oh my god. 85% not quite enough yet to do it, but another charge shot already on deck. Oh! Huh? The power shield! That was insane. <laughs> what the F yeah, you're done. You're done, okay. though. Okay. That was looking wow. scary. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so Levin has the power shield. And he's on the board. We are getting the counters to take the battle shield. Yeah, Hbox wants his platform. It's kind of funny though to see Hbox like, I guess he can't go back to Dreamland, but it's just like, alright, I lost on Dreamland, I can't go back to Dreamland. Yeah, platforms are great, but not with those blasts. Yeah. Okay, shield pokes, I like it. He is just carrying him over there. Good fighting there to get out of his advantage. Let's see how far he goes, gets the trade. Very much winning. Oh, he oh. oh, good though. Wow. The upbeat, keeping him just enough to get back to ledge. I'm very... surprised, honestly. Good wait. I think Tether yeah. is off deck though, and he goes right in for that bear. First stock going to H box. Okay, what's punished here? He just waits. He just waits because he knows it just barely has any end lag. So he just waits for like a drop down. Yeah, no need to be super committal. You have time, you have the lead. He's working those back airs, getting those percents, making them work. <laughs> what went through H boss is fine. Let me just get out of here. Yeah, it just worked. But unfortunately, the charge shot there interrupting it all. Patience there. There's the patience there. Weapon just a little more calm, able to get a good amount of damage off the grab. Yeah, I mean, it also creates that controversy in this matchup because that charge shot does exist and you can't just back air from the charge shot. So now Weapon seems to be waiting for the jump, but gets the drill rest. But he's gonna get a punish off of this. Dare and Nair, good amount of damage. Gonna start charging the charge shot back up because he does lose it at the end of the stock. Dare rest? Yeah, it's definitely not it the so precision. It, yeah, it's not the safest thing as well because you're really gonna hope that your opponent doesn't like SDI too much. Literally. Well, we're seeing them come out. Dare loops? Oh my god, I love to see it. Trying to call him out, but Hbox standing firm, staying in that shield. Platform, he knows what he, can do. he doesn't really have to commit to anything. Up throw, back throw. Okay. Throw I was like, how is this? It's like I can do a couple of things from this position. Yeah. And he does the one that works, so that he's 
doing good. Up air, almost enough to kill. A little more, and HBox will get that. We're seeing all these bombs being dropped. Nice That's the car shot, not quite able to get a hit yet. Good recovery from disadvantage, the fair the, the, the only thing that could really catch him and setting him back to stage. Oh yeah, but good challenge back right there. Hbox is continuing to stay constantly around him, not giving him a chance to breathe. Oh, look at the spacing, man. The spacing's like immaculate right now. Yeah. Because he's just weaving around and weapons his hitboxes so well. Looking for the big boy damage. He knows exactly what weapons he's looking for. We know that weapons he's looking for. Oh no, the and Phantom Rest! Oh my god, he's going to score it! The Phantom Rest! Oh, that's rough. I mean, he's up a stock, so yeah, sure. But, oh, you hate to see it, right? Yeah. Is this gonna be the cleanup, or is this Wevans' chance to come back? Oh, he bonks his head up be Yeah, he knows. Time. He knows how to come back from that. Oh man, Wevans. Is he looking for? Is he looking for these dares still? Oh, oh no, that's he it. Just, that's he just it. Jumped right in. <laughs> No, I'm not letting you come back again. Coming back. I'd say Agebox was coming back from like that Phantom Rest bro. Like, just oh my god. Mentally. I, I, th <laughs> I think it's happened to him enough times now where he just, you know, he's just like, closure. He's passed by PTSD. He has the therapy. It's just like, alright. I can it have this. If I have a coach, life like, happens. These, they, right? these things happen. It sucks. You get over it. You just keep going. The game's not over yet. Well, and you know, the tournament might be over if he can win this next game. So you know what, there's better thoughts ahead of what could be in his near future. Hey, but Weapons is sort of going in right now. This is a stage that we saw earlier against Komodo where he was like moving all over Komodo. And he's low-key doing the same against Hungry Fox. Like he's super comfortable as far as like platform, platform is concerned. Yeah, because he's able to do those fares. Those like fair one-twos to like charge shot. Imagination basically. Nice caught on the grab. Just missed it. Looked like no, a no, no, no. Fair air was actually able to break it out. Yeah, yeah. I saw like a little weird tank. Okay. I wasn't sure if my eyes were deceiving me, but that was a very good catch. <laughs> it's gonna go off the top for weapons with a two stock lead. He's moving. This is definitely a stage that Hunky Box didn't want to counter pick into. Here we are. But he does have that final counter pick in case he loses this game, but anything is still possible. There's up air setting so high, but just enough, not enough on the stage right now. Or no, he's gonna kill, yeah. You have to keep that in mind. Like, this is a small stage, and that fourth is gonna kill extremely early, like 1.30, you know? Oh, I wasn't ready for the ledge cancel. Are you gonna eat a whole stock? Ledge no, he's a little too say. floaty, able to get the jump off just in time to get a little more height. Up smash, popping up a little bit. Man, that's it. He's gonna start getting that charge shot back. Fully charged. Last stock for HBOX in this game. Okay, since the other way. Jumps up, makes it back, and just ledge out immediately into the up tilt. And it just connects. Down there, it's even good. Charge shot. This is a really <laughs> solid game from Wevins. This game's totally possible. Oh, he threw I, his hat. He know. threw his hat. The he's... reset. He's taking off the hat. Oh my god. Take off the hat. Reveal the chain. <laughs> Maybe back to Dreamland. I mean, no, flowing pretty well. You can't go back there. And, uh, DSR. Ready? Oh, okay. Go. All right. Well, here we are. Game five. Set one. Is that one? Possibly? <laughs> is that two? Maybe? Is that one or is that it? Mayhaps. But here we go, going to final destination. I just, now, it's so funny because like earlier Hungry Boss was like dancing all, all over Weapons and Shield, but now Weapons is able to put on that same pressure. Get out here. Starter, on the missiles, trying to get something started. Oh, yeah. Maybe wrong aerial. Yeah, the 
grab off the drill. Going for the low recovery, able to get the up B in time. <laughs> Triple there. Get no. the send. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is awesome. That almost kills well. Oh. Uh, it's, it's Twitch chat. I, I would assume they're saying something funny. And you know what? I've just come to accept it. Weapons was in his first rock. Was that not yet? Hits, but some good DI by HBox going so high up to that top yeah. top Green like that. Mm. Nice and easy. His advantage stays. Jumps through and HBox is expecting that jump. Using the fastball to get back to stage, at least reset the other. Keep following. Just having to reset jumps a little bit and gets the trade into the kill. Trying to get the Nair to do some kind of defensive maneuver, but just not enough. Hbox is looking very comfortable in this game five. Well, it's looking like it's his low key, but I mean, there's still three stocks to work with. Trying to put up that wall, but honestly, Hbox is fine. There's no need to actually commit too hard. Up smash, what? Okay, I was like, maybe you're best from here? No clue. Down throw, just missed okay. the charge shot. Sure, just charge it. it right back up, do it again. Oh yeah, we'll take it. It just kind of rewinds the record just a few seconds to remember what the sound was. <laughs> this just had a little crack in there, had to make sure it was right. Even stock game, 72% on weapons, playing a bit more calmly. Hbox trying to keep away with those back airs. It's almost strictly back air. 81% of like strictly back air. Yeah. Good walling tool. You mix it up. Go in. That's get, it. Get, no, he's good. He's got his jump. But can he get back? Yeah, no. Right. He's so consistent on those because he just knows like the distance of the, the, the long jump. Oh, nice follow up there. 49% on Hbox. Ah, these like perfect shields. Oh, try to use the missile to catch him. No jump. He's able to get his jump back at least by landing, but it's a rough spot. Man, that's getting punished every single time. Like weapons off stage. Bobby Watts knows that. Okay, I can't really go out here like that, and that's completely fine. Good edge guard there. He has yeah, the low yeah, yeah. tether, and H box will win. In the best of five game five set against Weapons. Congratulations. Congrats. He has successfully defended Central Florida from everybody else. Yeah. The big thing there for Weapons is that Weapons kept going for like that tether and immediately like jumped up from the tether. Yep. Okay. Uh, we're going to get off. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're having a Hbox interview. So please stay All right, tuned. Bet. All right. Peace out, y'all. You made enough money to probably print paper entry at the CEO. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you get the fancy one. All right, what a bracket it was today here at SOAR Summer 2022. He's <laughs> trying to get the hat on. Um, I'm here with Juan Hungry Bucks de Biedma, the winner of uh, SOAR Summer 2022, and uh, could very possibly be the winner of CEO this weekend. How are you feeling after this tournament I'll be, uh, uh, about CEO? Good. That was. I don't usually have the same as taking a game five, but um, everyone, everyone's stepping it up with their character like so much. It's just like uh, I'm not surprised of anything anymore. I could have like a link taking a game five at this point. I think someone did actually on stream yesterday. So oh my God. like anything could happen, and this game is so just just engineered to the point where you just have to be ready for everything. So uh, he destroyed me on the triplats. So I just have to kind of like readjust and readapt. Yeah, and um, you know you're kind of. Uh, you know, Mr. Florida. At some, you know, in, in some respects, you've been, you know, the best player in the world, obviously. But um, uh, when people think of the state of Florida, they think of uh, the green bandana on the puff. Um, how do you feel about uh, defending CEO uh, this weekend? Uh, it's a Florida tournament. It's the Florida tournament. Yeah, um, I, I think Grands leave me and Plup. Grands you and Plup. So we're not really defending it. 
because he's from Orlando. He's from he, sure. he lives West Coast now, like Oregon or whatever, mm -hmm. or Washington, and this is where I grew up. So, but um. CEOs is the event that I've won the most in my whole life. I think I've won like six CEOs. So like yeah, you are the CEO king for I sure. I definitely have like a cup for here, and I really want a major win this year. So I'm just gonna give it my all. Should yeah. be fun. Yeah. And um, of course, the storyline right now is Slumpbox in Godbox. You know, um, and I think we definitely saw Godbox here today. Um, you know, tearing through winners bracket. Um, only, I think this was your only game five, if, I, if I'm correct. Yeah, I, I lost one this match. Lost game this match. Today, and lost two to Evans. So. Yeah, um, so three games, the entire bracket. Yeah, um, there's some crazy weird misrests too, so a little antsy, but it's really good practice. This is why yeah. I say like pre-lookers are the best practice because you can like adjust yourself and like know what you want to do like in yeah. that hot seat, right? So, yeah. yeah, and um, congratulations, you did amazing, and uh, good luck at CEO. Um, go represent Central Florida out there and Alrighty. beat everyone's butts. Thanks, man. Thank you. Peace. And that's going to be a wrap for Soar Summer 2022. Uh, what an amazing event. Thank you so much, everyone who came out, everyone who helped. Um, I want to give a shout-out to all the people who gave out Melee setups. I want to shout-out to Queso. I want to shout-out to uh, Blast. I want to shout-out to um, all the people who helped on the Ultimate Yo, side. I want to talk to Hunter Nave, all those kinds of people. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, you guys are the pillars of the community, the people who are watching. And um, yeah, turn in, in, tune in in September when we have the next one, Soar Fall 2022. I'm sure you'll see it everywhere. Uh, but besides that, I'm Romeo, and uh, I'm signing out. See ya.